Okay. <clears throat> Scorpio. Ah. Okay, this is the third time I am <clears throat> addressing your career here. I swear I have shuffled. Um, don't ask. Please don't ask. The hell is going on? It's just very late. That's all. Uh, so, uh, what's the energies uh, going on addressing our career? <laughs> well, we have Capricorn and Scorpio here together. So what are you waiting for? Hmm? What are you waiting for? Seriously, what are you waiting for? Capricorn and Scorpio joining forces in business? That is psychotic. So either you have Capricorn moon, or you have a Capricorn partner, or you have you know, working with another Capricorn energy. Scorpio and Capricorn energy are explosive in business. Uh, some badass Illuminati shit, right? Master of puppets, power, 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 and everything, everything. And so, you do have a lot of power, Scorpio. You do have a lot of power. I just advise you not to, well, channel it wisely. And do not use this power to victimize yourself or degrade your own work. Uh, in the beginning, your work might be really shitty. I have some fantastic shitty videos on my consciousness that I've made on the YouTube channel before and on TikTok. And uh, you know what? I've been even told to take it down. I'm still making. Mm? Still do. Because if you really love what you're doing, think about it. There are 7 billion souls on this planet. A lot of fish to pick in between, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Pisces. We have a twister, okay, clearly we have a twister here. <laughs> she wants to come out, the mermaid. So what are you doing here, mermaid? Well, she literally tells us uh, that it is time to, this is so cheesy as fuck, but I'm gonna say it anyway, it's literally time to make your dream come true, to manifest your dreams. This is the year, 2022. Zero, two, 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 Peter, six, six, manifestation, and it's a twin flame year. So if you find a partner that has strong Capricorn energy, Pisces uh, tells you that, go for it. Whatever it is here, Capricorn is in place in order to help you on to the stage. Fiber is a human form, energy form. Now is the time. You do not hesitate. You do not hesitate. Go, go grab. Go grab it. And Pisces is, uh, you know, it's all about dreams, and visualization. Some of you are making movies. Not like this. Well, maybe like this. Uh, visual too. Oh, Pluto. What do you know? Yeah. I talked to you a bit before. Um, my free riddles on the last video if you are into multimedia design and uh, hypnosis, neurolinguistic programming, there's a lot of power within this. This is a very, very powerful, um, can I say, throat chakra energy. As if oh. <clears throat> um. so yeah, I know many of you are 
out there are extremely creative. Um, you are also born to understand psychology, and you do not need a title. You don't need. You don't need it. What you need is marketing, smart marketing. And of course, you need to know your stuff. Because uh, if you if you're going to tell funky stories about you know not being honest about who you are, not to be authentic. At some point you will be, well, it's just basically what they call it, castle of cards or whatever, house of cards, right? So you want to build a strong fundament, so working slowly, for me, I maybe have now 10 subscribers a week. Right? And um, that's perfect. Because um, you never know. So, working slow towards what you already are is fine, really, it's fine. But you need to take the opportunity now, Scorps. Time's up. Time's up. You can't wait anymore. Air, water, energy. This is currency. This 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 is a promise, Scorpio. But as long as you keep being persistent, 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 persistency, persistent, 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 you will master that kung fu. Have you seen the rocks? What happens to them when water work with the rocks slowly over time, over time, over time, they become very smooth. Like this, you don't pick them up and stroke them towards your cheek. Water is currency. Oh, sorry, you cannot see the cards. Hmm, you cannot see the cards. That is utterly ridiculous, is it not? Okay, now you can see the cards, right? Yeah, as if the phone is going to, to say yes. <coughs> <laughs> I should learn to set limits. That's on me. It's like bedtime a long time ago. So <clears throat> water is currency. Pisces is the dreams. Scorpio is an investigator, so you might as well investigate how to get up those algorithms. Honestly, I don't have time, I can't bother right now. I just do this and put it up. Um, and this is why uh, I can recommend a book for you called Cash in a Flash. If you're interested uh, in knowing more about uh, creating your own business, Cash in a Flash, same guys that wrote Chicken Soup of the Soul. It's a very, very nice book. It gave me, as soon as I read it, I wrote a book. I wrote my own book. And yeah, I published it, so I published it as well, right? Some of you might be really into decorating homes, yeah? I see some of you have a very, very beautiful environment and some of you are brilliant giving advice within home decoration. Uh, advice here is... Uh, the sun so basically it says that come out from that little rock that you're sleeping under below or <clears throat> observing the world it's time now for you to come out and, and show people your autumn it's very late authenticity whatever it's, i'm sorry my language 
authenticity and um, it's time to shine basically to shine a light on the gifts that you have you can't hide them anymore so you can't hide them it's time so whatever you've been thinking about I think I would hesitate a lot more um, I just uh, What I really do is, I said the previous video, I created my own tarot cards. So my business is not really this, but I do it for to keep up, you know, the, because I really burn when I read these cards, right? I really burn. So it doesn't matter if I have, you know, it's, it's amazing to have many people with me on this it's an amazing experience for me also to to learn how to present my own stuff right but uh, in the end of the day this is what i do i make the cards myself i've already made a deck that is ready for publishing so yeah i don't rely on on YouTube uh, getting me a paycheck or I do not have to be you know monetized or whatever uh, but for, for those of you who want it was easier before but it's still possible okay or well, these cards are terrible to shuffle this is like I don't know it's beautiful uh, so let's have a look at your current situation, Scorpio. Yeah, when I get my... Yeah, I'm talking to myself. It's time for me not to... To uh, put in the dot over the I and get them published. And then you will buy them because you think that my artwork is so wonderful. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's an Oracle deck, and uh, I already published but lots of magazines. And uh, now that. Whenever you fail, it's a win-win. I used to ride horses and I learned that every time I fell off the horse, I become a little bit better at riding. And so I did. So you are going to. Okay. Now we have your stack score. Right. Seven of swords in reverse. What you do not see coming, uh, Scorps? Um, It's quite a shock, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure it's if it's any point for me to say it, right? I think I have to. Oh. Have, have have any of you worked with a partner before and like as in a love connection as in work and love together and then 
You know this stuff, right? Do not mix business with love together. Right? So, if you choose that direction, it might kind of lead to a heartbreak. Um, I don't want to make any prophecies. I'm not a fucking prophet. Uh, yeah. If you choose the other side, you might expect a lot of patience and waiting. You might expect hardcore negotiations regarding your work, your, your heart, your soul, your beautiful creation. Please create Scorpio. I would very much, I mean, if you have any creations, you post them below so I can see if you're an artist, whatever. Um, uh, so, if you choose to work with someone that you have close to your heart, you don't know, shall I work with him, her, or should I do this on my own? Well, the card says here that, no, okay, um, it's in this situation it's better for you to wait hardcore negotiation then there will be some news for you a new opportunity coming in slowly and then you will effing gain your independence and the 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 yeah, I think you should go that way from these cards. Sorry, you literally gain, you can manifest uh, bubbles on the wall, you know, just think hard enough and there come bubbles on the wall, balloons out of the, you know. If you have any idea how powerful you are, Scorpio, but. This, this is also a meaning that some of you are looking back at a past heartbreak or some of you might, you know, you... Should I go somewhere to, towards this heartbreak? Look, I mean, there's, there's some of you who are kind of inflicted by a very big heartbreak. Um, and you must not let this affect your work. Rather, reflect your work, not affect your work. Uh, reflect in your work as you see many, you hear many beautiful love songs. If you are a songwriter, singer, you have your story right here, right? And so, but if you're going towards someone in love to work with it says say do not mix those things is what i get and so here you have hardcore negotiation you know you need to swallow some camels i see contracts or non-contracts competition but you don't need to compete this is what I tell you, because as you being you, we are all unique, right? Someone have been onto my channel and said you shouldn't do this and you should delete that and that from the video and blah, 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 blah. Um, but I've chosen not to spend my energy on that as of now. I don't have the equipment. And I'm here to pass on information. So 
if you are visiting me in this living room, right? If I say something that is uh, indecent, I cannot delete it. So I chose to, for now, keep it things like it is and rather make it all over again if the introduction is indecent. So, news here regarding an offering here, uh, which in the end will leave you completely independent here with the nine of coins. Yeah? So here you are mastering, a lot of coins here, you're mastering your profession, which uh, again will lead to Ten of coins. You will be the queen, basically. The fact you need to to really believe to to be certain. You need to be certain. And if anyone makes you doubt your what you do, that makes you know maybe this was a silly idea. Actually, I vibe very well on another Scorpio channel there who said exactly the same. Stay away from people who are toxic to you. If they are yelling or screaming or trying to correct you or demand your attention or basically eating you up alive, then they are a waste of your time. And uh, for myself, I have uh, wasted too much time on being too, too polite towards people who are literally just <sighs> who are they right look at them they don't have anything they don't have happiness they don't have uh, the, the, when you talk about the, the physical things they don't have their own car they don't possess anything right so why should you listen to someone who are unhappy and don't haven't achieved anything? I actually once upon a time listened to this kind of people. Victimized, self-righteous. Exactly. Cut them out, Scorpio. Cut them out. So money, 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 right? I'm gonna go for the coin. There's a journey here. It says literally, it's, it's right here, right? You see these sneaky energies sneaking around you? Leave them behind. Just walk away. Even if it's your own mama, many people who have moms, who tells you don't do that and taking away your powers, your uniqueness. Oh, I'm so embarrassed of oh, you're embarrassing me. Keep embarrassing her. Huh? Yeah, you're a little scared of being Jet Scorpio, Queen of uh, Swords. So it's better for you to take upon you these entities rather than be controlled by these entities. I said this before actually, a long time ago, and then uh, it came up as this, this read made me actually cry. It's a long read, older, long, it's only one month back or two, and, and yeah, I cried when I saw this. So... In past tense or on a subconscious level, some of you have might really felt stuck, right? Really, really stuck in the situation where you might have, yeah, maybe stuck in work, maybe stuck in a love connection, maybe stuck with 
ten kids or in an old house and you can't go anywhere because you're in a contract or you promised something this and that and you don't see any way out. And you didn't. But now there is a way out. In the recent past, you've been dealing with some kind of authority energy, Scott. This is the Emperor. Authority, someone very controlling, someone who are very strict. They have a lot of, lot of power or they control many things they might have multiple businesses or you know you can deal you, you can deal with anything from a multi-millionaire to you know everything from bill gates to to just like my uncle who have a great big business who are established and have a very strong voice in my town right He's got emperor energy. Nobody dares to, ooh, Sverre, or because Sverre said this and that. I'm the only one, and I think that. <laughs> Don't really care about what anyone in my family has to say. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to put it out there. So here we are alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this authority figure <laughs> yeah I'm telling Sobje uh, I don't know about this uh, who this is Scorpio it's like looks like a boss really I feel for some of you maybe this boss was fucking bossing around so you felt stuck because you really needed this job maybe right this is a message for some of you uh, I just say that you, you needed to face someone who are very strong in order to confront your own weaknesses because in the end you don't need to explain yourself to no one honey no 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 you don't have to because the goddess created you just beautifully as perfect as you are and you're supposed to be Flawless and perfect, that's what we are supposed to be. No. No, 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 no. I'm so fucking bored. Bored, bored, bored of these glamorized fake idols. It's time now that people get authentic. There we go again. Authentic. Let me tell you what. You have two possibilities here. Look at two mystic tarots. And then you're looking at Tyler's tarot. Who would you choose to work with? Comment below. No, I'm not afraid of guiding someone out of my channel. No, 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 no. Because you're always welcome back. As long as you're nice. So this authority figure is challenging us. We are afraid to be judged by someone. And even me managed to let someone get me just a few days back made me doubt doing this wanted me to uh, i wanted to delete every video i made yeah i'm thinking who the hell am i harming it's only one law who the hell are you harming by doing it you're afraid of being ridiculed that don't ridicule you. 
and you continue, you continue, and you continue. If you have any idea how many times I've been ridiculed, and then you have a look at those who ridicule you, who are they anyway? Who are you? Madonna? Jesus Christ? Most of those who ridicule me are the most insecure people in the world. So they need to have so much ridicule. Because they themselves, they are flawless, although they are slightly depressed and need to get laid and, uh, well, the list is long, right? Let them ridicule you. It's just said that, phew, you know, there are plenty of people out there who are constructive in who rather want to work on a project than chatting about other people and you know, there are plenty of opportunity out there. I actually take that advice on my own to one day have a look in the area where I am and see, you know, I saw there was some art studio around here connecting with other artists and, you know, put up a group together. If you have your own place once a week, you invite them over to your place, say, hey, let's make art together. What do you know? Out of the blue, you have your own workshops. How do I know? Well, because I did it. I used to do that too. Not in another lifetime, in this lifetime. Mm. And you know what? I loved it and I will do it again. I will surely do it again. There was not huge money in it. But I was happy when I did it. Just exactly this, you see? It's a uh, act tiny. A drawing. So, what you may. Uh, yeah. In possible near future here, Scorpio. I see someone here quite. <laughs> over it situation um, someone of you might hesitating a little bit you you feel I feel some of you are so fed up by something so you're over something whatever love or something very disappointing and you give the impression that you're really over it and and so you don't really see any opportunity when it comes in right so there is a new opportunity coming in here it's also like you it's not enough, maybe, I don't know. Take it as it resonates, but for those of you who are used to uh, tarot read raids like myself, uh, you will know what Four of Cups means, right? You see how she's sitting there, stubborn, not over it. No, she's not even looking at the cups. It's, it's like she don't know that it is there. It's like it's just a thought form. It's a thought form and, and she, she doesn't want to manifest any more cups. But it's right there. Now I'd rather say that... I don't know, let's see what the rest of the cards have to say because I have uh, always a lot of things to say. <laughs> Scorpio, I believe many people look up to you. There's many of you that, you know, you're being looked up to. It's. Uh, 
There's a, there's a suggestion here, also a suggestion that you might surround yourself with people who are mastering something that you might want to learn or people who are inspiring you, right? Six of Wands here. This is Venus in Leo. Also tells you that it's not, you know, I don't think, you know, it's market yourself. Go out in the light, Scorpio. Although you might look a little rough, dark, and ruffled, yeah, whatever. Do not be scared of the light. The limelight, whatever, right? No one is. Yeah. So again, here. Some of you are already working on a project. I'd say you're already in the right direction from what I see here. You're only one coin away from your independence. Ah, I could totally see myself in this, uh, in maybe tomorrow. I have a new drawing pad from Christmas and I didn't even use it, huh? This, 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 this sensation again of some of you hesitating a little bit, you're afraid of that judgment day, you know, being every Walmart, you know. There's that little voice inside of you that make you hesitate, you're scared, stick your toes out there. What if? Oh no, this is ridiculous, right? No, it isn't. Just face this judgment. Take the big step. Take the big step. Now I'm going to give you four possible outcomes. I haven't come up with it really anything better yet. So the cards here, let's see that, you know, uh, <laughs> she's already independent. <laughs> You're going to gain that last coin score if you stick to that path. You'll get justice in a situation. You get your justice in this in some kind of situation you've been into, I don't know, but uh, well, for those of you who've been battling hard, ha, la demonio, um, Scorpio, you do have a lot of power, right? I did tell you about Scorpio and Capricorn here. You do have a lot of power. Uh, so please use it wisely. And whatever bad habits you have, you know, you know, right? So the more power we gain, <clears throat> I check out Morg actually, probably not a surprise, I like to check out his videos sometimes, he's very intelligent, although we, I don't necessarily agree on everything he's saying, he is very very clever, he was a uh, well, some scientist guys actually checked him out and they was like, whoa, there's no way this guy knows these things without having some kind of science degree, right? And he talked about Putin. What happens if, there, if you haven't integrated your shadow self or your power self, something here that's not in balance? Because if you then raise in power, you might become obsessed with the very power itself. So be a little bit careful. This is also why I like to take it slow. Because it's a, it's a form of psychotic behavior that might take 
over. So that just throwing it up on its own view. It doesn't have to be that because karma literally means action. And every action has a reaction. Basically what I see here, for some of you, who choose to involve, perhaps, a Capricorn, or go to that side I warned you about. So basically what the cards say, any abuse of power, not being nice or if you involve toxic people or start to meth club mix this Capricorn or toxic individual into the mix it's going to lead to this either it's a heartbreak in love either it's a heartbreak you're making a baby your your, your business is your baby right be careful for this this one. Be careful. See her? Now she's coming out here. Right? So careful with your choice Scorpio, I might want to take my own advice on this because if you choose the path of authenticity, did I say it right now? This is where you want to walk and that is the power you have to manifest anything you want. There is your celebration, Scorpio. Scorpio. That's the point for you, Scorpio. I should celebrate now. I, 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 I have... <laughs> what I have, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, should we... What do you think? Should we pull an oracle card? I always like to pull oracle cards, but yeah, I think Sen. I don't like to read the books, so it takes a long time, blah, blah, blah. We channel the energy here, right? We channel reason and sense from what we see and feel. So using the Osho cards. So I don't really care. I'm very frank. <laughs> patience patience so yeah I've, I've seen a lot of pregnancy lately Scorpio so maybe you are watching this in a year from now And the advice is still good. Advice is still good. Because it's a very general advice. But two, 2022, are you kidding me? If you see this in 2022, doesn't mean you still have the opportunity in 2023. That's not what I'm saying. Just keep your twin flame journey. And, and work separately and if you feel that, that it, it just happens naturally then it's okay you know oh well, let me help you with that you know yeah I guess
I said, let me help you with that. If someone offers you guidance and that guide happens to be a twin flame and it's just, so, you know, we, it's, there's no competition here. You feel like, wow, this is cool. Nothingness. This is something we all need to practice to go into the void and be nothing. Just like the ninja, you know, disappear to be nothing. So you can empty your mind. So this is literally talking about meditation, but as Sadhguru like to say, and I like to mention him, Jagi Vasudev, it's, yeah, I think he's a great guy. I think he's a great guy. But I also think that why is so every time I put up YouTube, everything is about him, what he say, what Sadhguru said this, Sadhguru said that, and, and I look at the channel, do, don't do this, do that, this is dangerous, it's like, whoa, for those who are following him, and, and, and do not be blind towards this kind of authorities, because everything that is outside of you, that's just, that's just the shadow world, right? It's outside of you. It's a shadow world. You read, you know Plato, right? Plato. So yeah, Jagi Vasudev, he has a lot of knowledge, but he ain't God alone. Right now, I think he, you know, I, I don't know him. He's probably a very nice guy. Uh, but uh, it is a lot of accumulated power into one entity alone where this could have been spread. Because there are a lot of wise nice people out there who do know a lot of things but can't get through because you know uh, i know a, a lot of people who have a lot of beautiful things to contrib contribute to but even your own friends they prefer to you know if you have a concept even your own friends, they prefer to listen to this guru who is up there must be more valuable because he and she have so much more followers. Let me remind you one thing. Sheep follow. They follow only the one. They are in the sixth rate, right? The wolves and the lions and the eagles, they make decisions of their own. You can be inspired from the outside, but do not be a sheep, Scorpio. You're not a sheep. You're Plutonian, for God's sake. Yeah. Rest my case. Participate participation for her create a stable fundament for yourself trust your inner guide and participate with people who can think for themselves for themselves that can be an inspirational source for you because let's face it you can't do both the editing like me okay Use myself as an example. I used to print a magazine before and it didn't go so well in the end because I did the writing, I did the interviews, I did the translation, I did the graphic design, I did the artwork, I made the comics and now and then we, we had a lot of contributors as well but then I also had to put it into, you know, and then people start to 
they got really many subscribers to this magazine and then the light went off so my friend she took over the magazine and luckily she did a very good job so yeah but in the end also she had to realize that uh, if we're going to do this thing, if we're going to run a publisher uh, institute, you know, publisher, publishing company, it can't be one or two people. It can't be. So find your angels, like they talk about, cash and the flash. Here you have innocence. And if you're innocent, then you do not need to explain yourself to anyone, because as there's only one law, you do not harm anyone with what you do. You are authentic. You are not deceiving anything with what you do. You're not using any... You don't have any agenda that is toxic to someone else. At least in what you're aware of. And if someone points out, you know, you hurt my feelings the other day, then just apologize and there's nothing else you can do about it. And no one else can keep blaming you for what you did yesterday or last year, right? So everyone deserves a new start. And you need to also remember the little things in the world to respect those who are not on the same I wouldn't say same level, uh, but you see this little guy who consists of seven units only, and it's part of it's part of you know. See the beauty around you, basically. See the beauty around you. Uh, and experience. If you start now. Take Raven's advice. It's just an advice. You take my advice. If you start now, today, you will get your experience. You will get your experience. And not only will you get your experience, but you will get your breakthrough. <laughs> Quite literally, here, yeah, poppy go. So, uh, Take it as an adventure, right? And when you are seeing beyond the illusion, you will see all those who made fun of you or tried to take you down, they're just sheeps. Toxic people are simply just sheep. Because the newspaper said so. I think you look ridiculous. If I were you, I would do it like this and this and that. Oh, so you know best. You're more intelligent than everyone else. You, you're better. The way you think is better than the rest of the 7 billion people on this planet think. So... What you're saying is that if you are the president of, of, of this entire planet, it, it would be peace. If people make you doubt yourself, Scorpio, cut them off. Because you're a lion among sheep, actually you're a, literally an eagle among sheep. And you're a creator and it's now time because time is ripe and if anyone are trying to put you down well that's their own insecurity that they are projecting onto you because they haven't achieved anything right Here you go, Scorps. Now go out there, roar like a lion, or give me that eagle scream.
apply over there because that's what you are. Some of you are now turning into a phoenix. And people will judge you, of course they will. Do you think people look at me and uh, think, oh, she, she must be Jesus. They're thinking, yes, oh, she's probably worshipping Satan, huh? So, ah, because that's how simple minded most people are, unfortunately. That's why intelligent people are, are alone. Check it up yourself. Why are intelligent people alone? But you can you can is to to join forces with those I know many people I would love to work with which I have been working with for many years and it's never never any tad of tension that I look back at today and I really wish they were here with me today so it is possible, yeah. Right, guys. So that was the me. Oh, out of the blue. Well, just in case you are wondering uh, about traveling. <laughs> well, whatever your choice you make, it might involve traveling. And uh, to be. <laughs> Yeah. What is this? Is it? Don't remind them. <laughs> There's something here, a spe specific message here for some of you. Jeez, it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah. So it's 3 o'clock. Uh, but there's a traveling here. And that traveling is uh, has something to do regarding a past life, right? But it also here pops up that uh, aloneness, this is the hermit here, might be the very answer for some of you and travel away from the situation in order to, to take in some energies that <laughs> my teacher once said that all travels where you feel this attraction is really just visiting old places where we used to live before. So we feel it's, I'm so, why am I so fascinated by the woman? I spell it's memory. It's your memory. So there might, for those of you who are planning a travel right now, there might be something special for you which you can take with you regarding addressing your business. If you want to go to Morocco and you just love everything in Morocco, the style, note this, you have client right here. I will totally buy the stuff that you bring over here from Morocco. Just putting out there, okay? So that was it, people. Time for bed, I think. And uh, I wish you the very best of luck. Um, I believe in you. Namaste. <laughs>